if space goes on infinitely far, that presents us with a very interesting situation because we only have observational capacity to see a small part of space because it takes light a certain amount of time to travel from one place to another. And if there are objects that are too far away, there won't be enough time for the light they emitted to travel through space and reach us. So that suggests that we should think about even this one universe that has this infinite spatial expanse as itself being divided up into realms, each of which can communicate within itself, but sufficiently distant realms, they're unable to communicate, so they're separate. In some sense, they're separate sub-universes within this larger expanse. And if you do a little mathematical calculation, you can establish pretty easily that some of those realms would have to have copies of us. The reasoning is pretty simple. Imagine you have a deck of cards and you shuffle that deck of cards. The cards will come out in different orders. But if you shuffle that deck enough times, sooner or later the order of the cards has to repeat. Only a finite number of different orders. You shuffle it too many times and the order has to repeat. Not enough different orders to go around. The same idea applies here because particles in a given region of space can only arrange themselves in finitely many different ways. So if space goes on infinitely far, if there are infinitely many distinct realms, then the particle arrangements sooner or later have to repeat. Only finitely many different arrangements, not enough different arrangements to go around. Now if the particle arrangement repeats, well, you and I, we are just an arrangement of particles, as is the sun and the earth. So if the particle arrangement repeats somewhere out there, then you and I would be out there. The sun and the earth would be out there. There would be duplicates of us and everything that we know about.